so now we see today shipping point determination because in sales order while creating sales order or delivery or some places you will get incomplete log what is this shipping point so you can see the term itself shipping means the point where your goods are living okay so that that means like uh, your customer is belongs to assume that uk okay so your plant is belongs to france okay from france to uk from this place to this place you have to send the goods that means so your ship to party location is in uk okay so shipping point is very important for uh, your uh, route shipping point is very important for the place where you, your goods live from your plant okay so what should you know to determine shipping point so what it talks about one thing is that shipping conditions shipping conditions shipping conditions from your customer master or document type we'll get to know uh, why we have at two places that i am going to discuss later uh, some concept came like you know your cash sales and rush order first you try to understand so we are going to define a point for your plant let's take an example you have a plant okay so plant okay in this plant assume that i'm just giving a general example it depends on your customer needs you have a east direction one gate and west one one gate you have and east that means your plant is located in certain acres of the land big land okay <clears throat> i'm just giving an example in the similar way north in the similar way south okay assume that south so it is holding one address address one in the similar way you have one more address two in the similar way you have one more address 83 you have one more address 84 i am just giving general example it's all depends on your customer needs how many shipping points for plant it needs to be created so let's assume this is the main entrance always uh, any customer orders from east side okay east side i have some uh, 1000 regions are there so i have some uh, like you know lakhs of customers is ordering from east region so that from east region it is maximum distance is some 40 kilometers or 50 kilometers assume okay uh, so from west region if i would look to deliver the goods it is taking uh, assume that you know 150 kilometers so the distance the plant uh, distance will be like this so i just wanted to save my transportation costs also it is this is a big place assume okay like that so if if someone is ordering from west uh, western region it is easy for that you know deliver the goods from this point so uh, like that you know this plant is one but we are going to create num n number of shipping point based on the the direction where we are going to deliver the goods sometimes you will have n number of shipping points n number of n number of business regions to create a shipping point that means the point where your goods is living that we will call it as a shipping point shipping point is the key your shipping point and your plant is the key now you came to know how you are going to determine your shipping point okay let's take an example this shipping point one shipping point i have defined what i should require like who is my customer which direction like you know east direction it comes this shipping point is good like i supposed to determine let's take an example okay so generally 
it depends on business needs they will create the shipping points i am just giving this as a one business case so we are going to define shipping points let's take an example i you got an order for east so that means your customer is belongs to eastern certain location certain region okay then you you will come to know that okay based on that on so east if i am sending it takes uh quickly and it takes one day and if uh, forcefully if i suppose to some west it will take some two days or something like that just imagine example that means customer shipping conditions conditions is key okay one thing like when you are loading the goods you need a loading group which is available loading group which actually you know group of groups the material in terms of your loading conditions so loading group also important okay shipping conditions either customer master or else you can able to default from your document type okay you got two things and the next thing is your delivering plant from which plant you are delivering these goods okay and delivering plant so the all these three combinations which is going to determine shipping point in your in your sales order so let's take an example loading group why it is important loading conditions and loading rules and loading rules and regulations and in your factory from where it need to be loaded and unloaded it will be defined defined from uh, your shipping point uh, your material master that material that particular material you have hundreds thousands of material sometimes so all materials won't be available you know all directions that is also one business case you can take so the loading group is important this is so then uh, your loading group is assigned to your material master and your delivering plant will be assigned to what i would say mm, the plant where your goods are living okay so the place from where it is living it is talking about for that customer the shipping conditions it is going to integrate let's say an sap system it's easy to understand without shipping point you cannot able to create the delivery okay shipping point plant and shipping point need to be determined on your sales order itself that is called shipping point determination okay let's try to see an sap system how we have to define the shipping point i already told that when the time comes we will go to the enterprise structure based on our needs now let's see if you go to the direction of definition let's go to the logistics execution okay uh let me try to see this define copy delete check shipping point just click this either you can able to copy or else you can able to define your own shipping point okay so let's try to create a new entry okay your shipping point uh let's take an example let me check the plants which we have created so gsf1 okay let's uh, try to check the plant which we created let's go to the new sharing so with the plant name only i am creating gsp1 okay shipping point one let's take an example i am just creating and your factory calendar is 01 so your factory timings like you know all the time you are not going to uh, the shipping point uh, let's take an example uh, two shifts i am just selecting this <clears throat> you can able to define your own working timings okay that is uh, defined by your uh, pp module <clears throat> you can able to assign it sometimes even you can able to do it metal master all team also you can able to do it it's all depends on on uh, on which shift it is working so loading time how you would like to do it here certain 
uh, things they have given like uh, they no loading time determination like you know 24 by 7 any time they can able to do it whenever they want it sometimes root assume that in our example east and west south and north all directions will work first five days but weekends only work east and west only certain cases what are irrespective irrespective of the route okay irrespective uh, irrespective of the route you have to do that you know it is route dependent east way and west way you are doing route independent means i don't care whatever the route it is there my loading point and see it is default from shipping point it she default from shipping point means so four directions i assume that i have four shipping points so it is defaulting from east means east shipping point west means west shipping point it all depends on sometimes they don't care like you know they would like to do shipping point determination uh, sorry your loading loading time de uh, dependency may be based on the route also like uh, weekends only two directions it will be there like that you know let me put this c and you are picking and packing so whenever any stock is there for loading you have to do picking and packing in the similar way you have all the criteria like route dependent or route independent okay so this also i'm keeping like this so as of now it's it, it won't find much differs so if you would like to mention certain time by time you can able to do it but uh, you don't do that yeah so this is how it happens the shipping point definition so like you would like to uh like you know on uh, for for shipping point printing at at the time of delivery and all those things uh, certain texts if you so address of the text name and the letter head name so your text determination also you can able to def, uh, de derive from your shipping point also let's keep it aside there is something called for picking list certain output will be there ek00 so that you can able to do it this is a different concept it's part of logistics we'll see later okay so all the different kind of like you know you would like to some certain message and uh, this is the transmission medium like uh, your pick list how you would like to print print out or email that also you can able to decide it certain times ed also will be there with this field if any sub system is there that also you can do it okay and for background processing like uh, how you would like to process your deliveries okay based on if you confirmation like you know if it is warehouse relevant something like you know certain criteria will be there uh, technically in your client system that also you can able to do it okay we just leave these fields we try to understand this as of now it is sufficient to understand these fields as of now okay let's save this okay let's put the address uh, so this is gs p1 shipping point okay so the country let's put the france as of now and uh, this is the address so if you would like to do it you can able to fill it on your own so let's put anything uh, for that matters okay you, and this is the like you know based on the client interest you can able to fill all these fields let me save this and uh, let's go back let's put it gsp1 i am just trying to copy this one so let's put it gsp1 as gsp2 okay and this is another shipping point to let's press enter okay i am just copying just for uh, okay let's press enter let's save this you have defined two shipping points now okay so both uh, let's put it to gsp2 let's take it so like you know this address i am just going to change it to like you know some other countries if any uk is there what is this uk is not there let me try to put it gb great britain okay let's try to put it region as something like some place maybe i got a client requirement like this from britain for this area particularly you have to use this shipping point maybe x regions maybe airport is a nearby location to france uh, to go to uk or something like that some business reason is there 
okay we have defined a shipping point now now let's go for assignment so the shipping points how you'd like to get determined okay uh, for your plant assign shipping point to the plant let's press enter so let's click control f okay let's put it this so let's take it let's remove this let's check our plant is there or not So let's try to check GSF one control F. Yes, F one. Okay. It is not available then. Let's go to let's go and check. Someone might have deleted our plans. First, let's check. So GSF one plant is available. Yeah. So this plan for this plan, let's try to click assign. Okay, either you can click assign or else you can double click this one. So now we are going to assign our plan GSP one. Okay, let's put these two shipping points for this. Okay, as of now I'm saving this. This is your plan assignment. So now let's uh, let's let, let me show you something. I'll just try to create a sales order. Let's press enter. This is the material. Let's put the quantity. Now, if you go back and try to check at shipping point, see your plant is coming because uh, your sales organization distribution channel plant is sent, but shipping point is not coming. It is not determined. Now, let's go to the SPRO. We'll try to do something for this shipping point determination. Let's go to the logistics execution. Let's go to the shipping. Let's go to the basic shipping functions, shipping point and goods receiving point determination. So you can use existing shipping conditions or else you can able to create your own shipping condition. Let's take an example. I'm creating G1. Okay quick okay daily shipping day shipping okay so g2 let's put it weekends i'm just defined some couple of shipping conditions let's try to define shipping conditions by sales document type so you can define shipping condition that you can assign to the sales document type it's always uh, try to identify that if you assign the shipping conditions in document type it will be overwritten okay let's go to the loading group see so how you are going to load crane manual forklift certain kind of you know some pump station like that you know they have defined it's client requirement you can able to define it this is basically done by your logistics team Sometimes even SD consultants also involved uh, if they don't have any separate team. So let's put it G0001. Okay. Some sample loading group. Okay. Uh, maybe let's put it uh, like a manual intervention, manual lift, manual lifting. 
let's put it this is the learning group let's click now you can see the loading group now you try to understand assign shipping points let's go this is the configuration see as i said that in excel shipping conditions your loading group and plant which is going to define your preferred shipping point okay apart from preferred shipping point by default it will come if you would like to change manually you can change like this how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 uh, location you can able to define it someone has defined like this right to see the manual shipping point let's go to the new entries what is our shipping conditions we have defined some g1 let's put the loading group what we have defined so you can use existing ones or else you can able to choose your own ones gsf1 okay preferred shipping point gsp1 we have defined by default or else they can able to change it gsp2 also same customer okay let's press enter now how we are going to do this let's go to our customer first let's choose our sales area press enter so let's go to the sales area data and let's try to see the shipping data here you can able to enter your shipping conditions okay so let's put this shipping conditions let's save this okay i have done with this now let's try to put it in this way you have assigned the shipping conditions and xt02 uh, now let's try to uh, let's try to go to material master so what the material we have defined uh, so this is the material right so let's take this material so this is the material you go there so sales org data sales general data you come here you see loading group is there for by default we have assigned standard one we defined one i am just showing you now so for this loading group this material this loading group is used okay this loading group we linked with our shipping point now let's go to the xd02 i'm showing you go this shipping condition so this is the delivering plant now let's try to create a sales order now you can find in your shipping tab shipping point is not at determined that means some criteria is missing okay what could be that let's try to check that one so let's go to the for this customer g1 is shipping Okay, this is a loading group G double zero zero one. Now let's go to. I found the reason for it. The document type someone has maintained the shipping conditions. G. Let's try to remove this. Now let's check now. It a hundred percent. It must come because it's 
so you now got your shipping point like this the combination of your shipping point and loading group and delivering plant which is going to determine your shipping point now let's try to check incomplete log something is there still so inco terms terms of payment and uh, okay header and item it is coming so without getting this error every time it's a time waste i'm just assigning so inco terms fob so let's put it to france so let me put the terms of payment and let's go to save this okay now let's check this now now edit and try to check any complete log see your document is complete so if any data is automatically it is not coming that we can able to fill it manually if certain data if it is not coming that is also configuration there is one concept called incomplete log that we are going to see later that is a one one of the basic function now let's try to understand one scenario okay so why we have done this because we have to we have to, your document is complete then only you can able to copy on uh, from a source document to document uh, target document that we are going to see in another few minutes let's stop the session from here